Hi everyone, this is Cindy Wilkinson with Just Sponge It. I have a really fun technique to show you today using your uh, re-inkers, glossy paper, your Stampin' Spritzer, and a little bit of Wink Stella. So let's get started. These are uh, the two cards that I have done for our uh, Color Fusers Blog Hop. And then I have done these as well using the same technique. Um, just changed it up a bit. So this is really fun and it's a stunning background. So let's uh, go ahead and get started. What you need is your uh, glossy cardstock and I'm using three different colors. Lemon Lime Twist, da Dapper Denim, and Pool Party. Um, when you're doing this technique you don't want to use too dark of colors because it ends up looking like mud when they start blending together. Um, so let's start with the Pool Party and you're just going to drop uh, dots of reinker and then this is lemon lime twist and they don't have to be too close together and then a couple of the dapper denim because like I said this one is really dark And depending on if you want to go all the way to the edge of your cardstock or not. Well, one thing I forgot was an extra paper towel. And you'll need, you'll notice that I am, I've got two uh, pieces of paper towel underneath here because you will get everything messy. So take your stamp and spritzer and you're just going to start spritzing where your re-inkers are. And see the magic starting to happen and you just keep spritzing until it's blended how you like and I think I need a little bit of pool party down here in the corner so I'm going to add one more drop and I'm going to spritz that Okay, now you see there's a lot of water puddled. So just take a folded napkin or paper towel and just wick up the extra. Now let me show you something fun that I've added in. You all know how I love Wink Costella. Watch the magic when this gets put in your um, in the center of your reinker. Oops, that's a kind of a lot. See how it glimmers? Isn't that cool? And you can put as much or as little as you want. And in fact, I need to wick some more right down here. This will take quite a while to dry. So make sure that you do it first. You can use your heat tool to help it, but that moves the ink around a little bit. Um, I really like to just leave it alone and let it dry for a few few hours, actually, because you use quite a bit of water. All right, so I'm going to set this aside. I have another one done, and we're going to put our card together. And I have to tell you a little funny. The colors are Pool Party, Lemon Lime Twist, and Dapper Denim for the Color Fusers Blog Hop. And on all my cards, I used Island Indigo as the base. Well, they're already glued down, so I'm going to go with it. But it sh this should be um, Dapper Denim. And it still goes okay. So, and I've got two new embossing folders. Oh My Stars, and this one has escaped me, but I'll put it on my, um, I'll put it on the video what uh, embossing folder this is. So let's go with this one. And um, this time I have a full sheet. The other time I had partial a sheet because I forgot when you go to stamp on the uh, glossy paper, you need to use stays on ink, and I did not use stays on ink. So uh, it, I messed it up. So let's glue this down. Act, yeah, let's glue this down. I should bring my other one out here so I know what I'm doing. And you probably really should use fast fuse on this because you've gotten this wet and you want to make sure that it stays stuck down. Oh, 
Okay. Then we're going to add our ombre ribbon. This stuff is just so nice to work with. It comes in three colors. Um, lemon Lime Twist, Calypso Coral, and another color that's escaping me right now. So you saw what I did. I should show you this. I've shown you this in other videos. But to get a really good knot, you tie your first knot, hold it down, pull this one through the center, and when you're pulling this, you're holding it down, and then you're pulling this, and it gives you a perfect knot. Trim those a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I did the daisy on here. Um, I started off with, you can see on my the other ones I do, I've done, with the Lucky Limeade in the middle. Then I did a little bit of pool party, and then I finished it off with the Dapper Denim. So let's do that. And I used sponge daubers. I'm so excited that the Daisy Punch is back and you can order it. It's been so popular and I've had so many people say, oh, I wish I could order that. You can now. It's back in stock. I don't know for how long, but it is back in stock. So we're going to start with Lucky Limeade. And we're going to just do the center. And then we're going to go to Pool Party. And I'm not really being careful. Just kind of laying the color down. And then... Uh, your last color is the Dapper Denim. Till you get a good coverage, let's get rid of these. Okay, now you're going to punch. When you're um, stamping your flower, you want to make sure that you have one petal that is down here at the bottom that goes straight up because when you go to punch it you want to be able to put your punch in there without having to cut anything or or anything like that so once you get it centered punch it and then let me show you how I curved it take the take your um, it's not really a pokey tool, paper piercer. And you're just gonna go in circles in the center and you see how the flower cups. You want that. And then you're gonna take your bold fold, bone folder and you're gonna curl the petals this way. So what you have, you can come back and do this a little bit more, is it's in the center it's down and the petals are curved down. Make sense? So then I used a glue dot to glue it to the other one because I think it looks better when you have two. Oh, I did this backwards. Okay, so I need to do it. This is the one I already have done and this is our new uh, fauceted gems. This is the clear one. For whatever reason it doesn't want to stick to the back of that of this paper. Okay, and then this is going to go uh, opposite or so that they're evenly spaced all the way around. Looks like your flower is really full. And then I try, I bend the petals a little bit more. And you can wink a Stella this if you'd like. I did not do it, but I'll do it later. And then we're going to bring our card back in. And I think I'm going to put my flower on the left side. And so that's going to go like right about here. Let's see if I can get... Now it's working on this petal. So your flower is going to go right about there. 
and uh, let's see the um, sentiment this sentiment also comes in the Daisy Delight uh, stamp set so this is the stamp set and then this is the punch that you get when you buy the bundle and you save 10% when you buy the bundle oh here they are So I'm just going to take a couple of these and add, add them. I always have trouble figuring out where to put them. And this, I think I'm going to cut a little bit off here. And I'm going to add that right here with snail. You probably hear my dog in the background. He wants me to pick him up. He's been barking and driving me crazy this morning. All right, so there we have it. Here's your card. Here's my other ones for you to see. And these use the Happy Birthday Thinlets and the bouquet, Balloon Bouquet uh, Punch. And you can see I've got lots of Wink Stella on them, on the balloons. And the foil is on top, and there's fun foam on the bottom. So I used the new uh, Sizzix adhesive sheets, and I added a layer of the adhesive to the fun foam, and then I added a layer to the foil, and then I die cut them. And it was really easy to put them together uh, using that. You don't have to worry about glue squirting out where you don't want it or it not sticking. So, so I hope you enjoyed my video. If you have any questions or if I can help you with an order to um, purchase any of these supplies, I'd be happy to. I will list all the information in my description and have a great day. Thank you. Bye.